Welcome everybody to the German Grand Prix and it's pretty clear to see that it is the German Grand Prix. There is <coughs> many German flags, let, let me say. And once again, like we didn't in Silverstone, surprisingly, we get pole ahead of Lewis Hamilton, Valtteri Bottas, Sebastian Vettel, Max Verstappen, Hulkenberg, I believe that is. Um, yeah, Hulkenberg, Magnussen, Ocon, Fernando Alonso, Carlos Sainz, Charles Leclerc, Roman Grosjean, Pierre Gasly, and Sergio Perez. Um, Kimi Raikkonen um, got a penalty today, so he's starting 15th. Head of Ericsson, Sorokin, Hartley, Van Dorn, and Stroll getting another penalty. He was he did qualify there, so for the first time, I believe this entire season, Sorokin's out qualified his teammate. So. That's, so this is a good race, hopefully for them and for Williams. But we'll see what happens in turn one from pole position ahead of Lewis Hamilton and the German Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. We make contact with um, Kimi, um with the and oh no, we completely come out like a wrecking ball, wrecking ball there. Paul Sebastian Vettel put his nose on um, Well, unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be and taken out by um, I believe Esteban Ocon. So Esteban was lucky not to have any contact. Yeah, um, so Lewis Hamilton then leads the way for a split second comes in, but then just breaks in the middle of the apex and uh, the middle of the exit, look. He made, he made contact with um, Bottas, you, I am I am breaking, I'm trying to avoid contact. You can see I'm going, I'm trying to get more lock than I would usually put around this corner. Cause I, cause at this moment I could see Hamilton's gonna crash into Bottas. I'm planning to go round um, that side, um, on the right-hand side of the track as they make contact. But the way they make contact is forcing Hamilton to go where I was planning to go, um, which meant that I would, um, that which meant that we would make contact. And for Seb, <coughs> let's put it this way. Um, I don't know whose fault that was, to be honest. And I didn't give him the space, but I didn't know he was there. <coughs> plus, Seb wouldn't put it. Um, plus, usually no one would put. Well, I know you've got the extra speed, but. Please don't put your nose where it shouldn't be. I think it's all just one massive um, racing incident, to be honest. But what we do notice though, is that we have major front wing damage on the left hand side of our front wing from the contact. And although it is not a safety car, Look at this view from Kimi Raikkonen. So a clean start, he can get the loud trouble. Yeah, and then immediately gained three places. There's a car there of Kevin Magnussen, who was going slow, I don't know why. Raikkonen's overtaken that guy. Um, overtaking him. 
now they're going row to wheel down the straight. Lewis Hamilton's still in the race. Seb is out, as you saw with the off-front collision. But I've got major problem damage. I'm struggling to keep it onto the road. I'm going to find something actually keeping it with Bottas. But I think any normal person would come in and give this um, lap to go and pit with some more tyres, new tyres. Um, Force India come out just where I wanted to. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Executed there. Well executed from them. We are being chased by Hartley. At the moment I choose to save fuel. So I have a lot to turn of fuel um, when I have to overtake these guys. Mm. So while I'm warming up my tyres, <clears throat> I don't 100% know that Hartley's right there and it makes me look stupid. So <clears throat> I decided to go and move on. Yeah, don't look stupid. There's a lot of baby at one, which is pretty, pretty annoying, I'm sure, for most of these drivers. So, now Valtteri Bottas leads from third, um, for Stefan, from um, fifth to second. Alonso, up into third. You can hope they're going to tell Grand Prix having an amazing battle this week. And you can see they are. This is definitely very, very grand. And head of the Carlos Sainz from 10th. Head of the player from 11th. Head of Perez, I don't even know where it came from. And somehow right of it in 8th. This space is full of coincidences and surprises. Now catching up with the um, circuit or king. Should be able to pass and indeed we do into the corner, into the apex. Nice and clean. <coughs> and we are back on our way, catching up with the other drivers. Some drivers should be coming into the pits either this lap or the next lap still trying to warm up our tyres it's still pretty cold actually you might be a bit surprised about that um, you can see trying to have a go at Marcus Ericsson go deep into the corner well great very very early very very late sorry and We are getting close, you know. We are getting close to um we are getting close to him. It's just just a matter of if we can actually overtake him. Or how we could. Unfortunately he's actually battling. We are a pit stop ahead of him. So I don't exactly know why he was battling with me, but we are through nevertheless on Marcus Ericsson. Um Now, um, here is Stoffel van Dorn, driving a nice race, or actually a pretty um, rotten race, until um, um, this happened. Yeah, um, Stoffel van Dorn out of the German Grand Prix. didn't deserve it he was driving a rubbish race in a pretty bad car well no mate possibly a rubbish car but stuff around on all we know is that he's out 
of the German Grand Prix. Goodbye, and let's look immediately back onto us. Here at lap six, we are in P5. Drivers ahead are um, Verstappen and Bottas. They haven't pitted yet. Um, Sides and Brighton have also not pitted. Other drivers who have though include Alonso, Perez, Leclerc. Gasly, I believe. Magnuson, I think so. Ocon, perhaps. I think maybe. Grosjean, I'm pretty sure. Hamilton had to hit with the damage that he got. Me these two boxes are mediums. We're going to see if we can extend this and um, stint. Um, as um, we come out just behind our teammate Matt Verstappen, so we should be able to pass him. I would assume. We're gonna go up the inside at the hairpin. A very um, late but on the brakes. So we take. We run wide. He gets the place back. But we seriously need to pass him. We got the pace and we got the fuel to go fast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Go up the inside there, squeeze him out, and no team orders to me or to the staff in so we could race. But if you can call that racing, because it's pretty really good. We're doing pretty well. Race lead. It is possible to see um, lap nine out of seventeen. Over half race distance now, and we are looking like we can pass um, Valtteri. We're gonna go up to the inside. There's still ten laps to go. So, or well, not ten, but eight laps to go. So we can still fight all that we want. But we don't need to really overtake um, into the next eight laps because only then will it be crucial. We'll get, nevertheless, we're still side by side with Valtteri. He's going to go swooping around the outside, squeezing us out there on the line that we were going on. So we had to uh, concede the place. <clears throat> this time, now we're going to see if we can actually switch back, perhaps. Uh, go up the inside that unfortunately does not work but we are still having goals and we are still going to see if we can actually pass these guys here we go though on to the start finish straight we can't do an old take into turn one it's a medium um, speed corner which is insanely hard to do an overtaking or pretty hard High speed corner is is very very hard. Low speed corners are coming up though here. So we're gonna pull up to the inside, see if we can dive there, and we're gonna we're gonna come close to getting the place. Now the slap and destroy the party though. Because we were so slow. He's joined the party now. And this is just one insane Grand Prix at the moment. Lap 10, VP2. We're going to see if we can actually have a go now. Side by side, Bottas giving us a good old squeeze. We get forced to go onto the gravel. And although we lose the place, we get it back immediately. So that was kind of dangerous for Bottas. I was well and truly there. Um, um, but you can see he was um, coming towards me. In 
in the um you can see that I'm there. Nearly um he could have got a puncture for that. He actually does have damage. However, on the other hand, because we pitted, we have not we don't. Actually has Verstappen got damage? No. Both Red Bulls have no damage. Valtteri does. Okay. But you could see he didn't for a second he didn't give me some um enough car let um we had to go into the grass to avoid any contact and doing so we had to avoid um cra um we had to avoid uh, crashes. But by doing so we had to go into the grass Um, you can see down to the press we get the um we get the overtake slam dunk easy PG and now here we go at Bottas round the inside we're gonna see because he's close we're gonna see if we can squeeze oh wow so we're gonna squeeze him out aggressively there so now he's going to be under pressure from Verstappen um, for forcing me wide. And now Bottas is having to go at us. We're going to go up the inside. We have the, um, we have all the rights to do so. But because we've been saving fuel, well, um, we have actually, um, we actually now. Um, have a lot of fuel to push away so um, I just realized that now and then you can see that I am very much pushing away and Max just happened getting ever closer to overtaking um, Bouchy Bottas for P2 but it might not do it this, um, it's, it's a bit sad that um, we can't really overtake through this section um, because no, um, or there's not many overtaking spots, but um, in, um, last on the second half of the track, Red, Red Bull are very good, but we can't be good if we um, if there's no actually if it's not amazingly possible to do overtakes. So we might have the DRS here. But with the amount of laps remaining, it is odd. No, it, sorry, it is even. So, Bot so Bottas is going to stay close to the staff and he's going to overtake the staff and straight. The next lap, the same is going to happen, but the staff is going to overtake Bottas on the straight. And with the amount of laps remaining, Bottas will actually get keep P2. So, ever closer to a 1 2, 4 temps off. Fernando Alonso gets a very good finish for McLaren. Sergio Perez for Force India getting an amazing P14 finish. No, P5 finish, sorry. Um, and Gasly gets some more points for Torosso and more points for Sauber as well from Charles Leclerc and actually it was a very decent finish for Salva and um, actually um, I, I was um, thinking that it would be good it would be a good race for Renault actually it hasn't actually been amazing. I don't want. I want to see what happens. He's only pitted once, so I'm sure of that. Hulkenberg. In seriously involved in that. Oh, I don't understand this race. All I know is that we might as well retire as a team now.
69 points ahead of Mercedes in the constructors. It was 71 points ahead of Lewis Hamilton in the drivers championship. <sighs> what a race then. What a race that was. It's a race of attrition. A race of whether you can um, keep it cool, make um, overtakes and avoid contact with other drivers and threats around you on the opening lap. A race where you could possibly see something um, bad happening. A race where, unfortunately, some German drivers may not finish or the or may not even get into the points but the race was fine and it is an unknown whether or not anything will happen um over the period of um this grand prix to next grand prix but Hopefully, it's going to be good. And uh, yes, guys, I will see you guys next time. And goodbye. Well, goodbye from the race. We're going to do some business talk here. So, only one upgrade. We're going to get some resource points that so we're going to spend on a powertrain upgrade. The fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. Is there really any competition for you today? Well, our team is on fire. Our teammate is just Everything great. went your way today. It looked like you had a really good strategy for the race. Um, well, it did. Um, as long as you can save tyre wear, then you'll be fine. And that's what we proved to do today. Do you think your rival learned from his battle with you? Well, he would have learnt, um... Well, they're always learning from each other. It wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? Um, sorry, Claire, I have no options there for you. Appreciate your time. You don't need to always say it wasn't the cleanest. It was like, it was more like Dodgers in Formula 1 today. It was like, it was blah, blah, blah. It was blah, blah, blah. It was like idiot magnets today. I don't understand. It wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? Yeah, the cleanest race today, is it? Okay. So he won that rivalry with Verstappen, and Kimmy's doing horrible in his rivalry with us. We get very, very, very good. Look at that. Look at that um, reputation with the team. That's just glorious. We, we're becoming more veteran now and we're sportsmanship now, which is just, just great. I just wanted to say congrats on the podium. It's thoroughly deserved. Congrats we were sweating on the those last week. few laps on the pit wall, but you brought it home. Mate, congrats on the win. We're going to purchase that. That should come in um, at Italy. Wait, okay. I'm gonna get an upgrade that should come in by Belgium. And I expect that it will probably be that one. But I'll have to wait a bit. We'll be in, we'll actually be in second in the terms of, in terms of powertrain. So in terms of chassis, we're first. In terms of where we're, we're um, first. In terms of this, we'll be second um, after the new upgrade. Only just ahead of Force India. But if we were to get this, then that would also be pretty good. Look at the progress history there. That is just... Wow. Wow. Four wins in a row then. I'm not destined to win this race, I don't think. 
I don't think I will be able to. I don't know though. I'm not amazing at hungry. So we're gonna, like any stupid man, we're gonna, actually 85% is good. We had a major issue on the production line earlier this week, so the entire development package for this weekend has failed. Check your workstation for the details. Oh, that you put that. Wow. You put that very, very badly. Okay, we're gonna repurchase that. Don't you come in from um, Belgium. So, we're gonna have upgrades for Belgium. We're not gonna have upgrades for um, here, unfortunately. But we're gonna get some juicy resource points, which is all that really matters, eh? And you, we'll, we'll probably get this um, one for Italy or perhaps for Belgium if we work hard enough here and maybe other maybe other upgrades here perhaps this one will hopefully get us some more resource and more points Co combine them together resource points baby okay mate I want to get this one I want to get this one this one actually looks pretty interesting. It, 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 it's gonna keep the us air, our aero package just very, very good. It's just gonna be good for us. I might save up for that one. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.